Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Arx Fatalis. We're going to continue down this direction, because we just haven't been this way yet. And then we'll go ahead and, um, see what, well, we'll see what we get here. Let's see, use this one. That's not possible. Okay. Oh, it's a little puppy. Oh, a little beagle. Oh. All right, here's Pulseus. Pulseus, why were you taking prisoner? Well, me tell you because you my friend now. You know, some humans disappear, turned into dinner for Akbar. Akbar? Akbar hungry, always hungry. We goblins did deal with Akbar's priest. In beginning, good for business, because we give humans, and they give gold pieces. But me not really happy, because soon, Akbar becomes too powerful, and with instant, him want to kill whole world. Humans, the goblins, and all the others. I tell king of goblins, and him say me bad goblin. Not allowed to business. Let me go to prison. A human eating other humans? Uh, goblins give humans to Lord Zerbius and him priests. Priests give humans to Akbar. So we we pretty much knew that uh, that was something that was in a note uh, with the uh, the last um, uh, goblin lord. So let's go ahead and see if he will take care of this for us. There. Your papers in order, friend. Alright, let's see what they actually say. Uh, Anatole X. Okay, cool. Welcome to the Yellow Tulip, stranger. Drink and relax. You'll always be welcome here, as long as your coin holds out. Right on. My name is Am Shigar. Pleased to meet you, handsome. I'm Tizzy, the owner of this fine establishment, and though I'm acquainted with most of the rogues and scoundrels here in Arx, I don't remember seeing you around. Are you from the Traveler's Guild? But, <laughs> I forget myself. What can I do for you? Nothing in particular right now. How much for a drink? Just two gold for our finest, sweetheart. All right, let's uh, let's do that. The outpost has been attacked by the Ilsids. Ah, tasty. Let's just say, ten gold pieces for a bottle you know, of I wine. Have you got a new lot on top? What do you think of this? Bring me a drink, sweetheart. So I forgot uh, about this completely, but you can actually put wine on your apple pie. And it will turn into a apple pie with wine, and it's actually the better food. Okay, we'll talk to you in a moment. Welcome, stranger. My name is Rinko. Rinko. You can win lots of gold with me. If you want to know the rules of the game, just read them. They're pinned up on this wall. Rules of the game. Place the tokens on the number of your choice. Then spin the wheel. If you win, you get you will be given 100 gold pieces. Otherwise, you'll lose 10 gold pieces for each token in the game. Thank you. So let's just do a one. Uh, do one of these rounds. Let's say there... Then we'll say, we'll say it too, I guess. There we go. And we lost. Never fear. Fortune <laughs> is fickle. Soon she will smile on you. Chicken. Chicken. Every bloody day I eat chicken. <laughs> Had enough. All right. Chicken. Oh, I see something. 
Travelers, if you want to take part in the treasure hunt, you will need an emerald to open my chest. Oliver. You know, I right. seen any dwarves around here in a long time. Hey there, you look lost. Come on over and have a drink. Take a load off. I'm Anoil Kalpal. Anoil. This little rat hole is my favorite haunt. Now why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Actually, I'm having trouble with my memory. Can you tell me who I am? <laughs> You're a trusting <laughs> soul. Sorry, friend. But as I said, I've never laid eyes on you before. No one around here look familiar to you? Maybe you were with the Guild of Travelers and some horrible disaster befell them, leaving you to wander around traumatized. Or maybe some thug hit you on the head and lifted your purse. Who's to say? Well then, tell me about this place. Well, this here is a bar. Folks come in here to drink and complain. But maybe you meant the bigger picture. You must have really smacked your noggin. We lived down here in these old mines because our sun flared out some years ago and left the topside world a frozen wasteland. But how many people live here and where can I find this guild of travelers that I might belong to? Hmm. You know, I'm not really sure just how many of us there are crammed down here. Besides us men, you've got your goblins, Dwarves, trolls, then you got different factions of each. Hard to say, really. As for the Traveler's Guild, they're a bunch of hard-to-kill bastards who keep the lines of communication and trade open between us and all the other rat-hole cities. It's supposed to be a long, tough trek between cities, so we don't see them too often. Maybe a while before we see another group. Come back and see me once in a while. All right. Well, I think that's everything we can do here. Oh, there's uh, another place over here. So let's see what this is. Password. Tizzy told me you could open the door. Okay, that that's not it. Apparently, got any uh, words of wisdom? That's fantastic, sir. I need a password to get through that metal door over there. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Perhaps later, once you've been. Initiated. Can I tell them I've been the initiated? Been by the <laughs> Password. Uh, it's me. Open up. <laughs> gonna guess that's not gonna work. Hurry, puppy. You be safe now. I shall return. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start heading back down to the uh, previous floor. I think that's where we have to turn in all of the notes. The gym dealer's license, the note from the goblin lord, and uh, yeah. So let's just go ahead and head up here. And, uh, oh. Lord human, you enter Goblin Kingdom. What you say? Humans is not allowed, except gem dealers. Oh well, then I I happen to be dealer. one. Here's my license. Yeah. Everything in order. Well, you passing now. Thank you. But careful, human rebels is escaped from our prison not long ago. I don't know nothing Only about that. Only dealers allowed passing. I, I I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I've already said too much. <laughs> See, did I um, check under his pillow? So I think we need to go this way. I don't think we went this way last time. I know that uh, one of the goblins ran up this way and they got help, but they didn't actually... Um, Come all the way down here. Who go there? If you is come for trading, me need to see you's written authorization from boss himself. I may have to see you's gem dealer badge. All right, we can do that. Let's look around real quick. Doesn't look impressive. All right, Let's see here. 
Written authorization. Me born. Good human. And Jim Dealer's license. I think I went over his shoulder. Okay, here we go. Nice, you nice thing me. is, we've opened up another spot. A whole three slots there, plus two here. Could make it even more if I got rid of this book. Actually, let's put this there. And we'll keep the book for the moment. Honestly, why do I need the book? Let's put it right here, right next to this guy's foot. Right there. Don't read that. That's human business. I'll check you later. All right, let's go down. <laughs> All right. So. grab that another one here let's see if we can do a twofer oh yeah let's get these last two maybe something will open up maybe nothing this looks like a thing but I guess it's not. Hear the clanging clang of the spiders again. Alright. Grab that. Let's see what's down here. Some more spiders. Ooh, a poison. That way don't need to use because these are spiders. They're kind of immune to that, I would think. Alright, let's try out a um, fireball. Nice. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and try out magic missiles on this guy. Oh, he stopped. They bent up. <laughs> All right. Let's get him in our sights. Really? All right. Well, I wanted to do some magic. I thought he poisoned us for a second there. Alright, there's a way going that way and this way. Check these corpses. So, I also forgot about another thing. <laughs> forgot about a lot of things, to be honest. Um, enchanting uh, is a thing in the game. So, what you would do is once we get the spells uh, or the runes that we need, we'll be able to enchant things. And what we have to do is we need to. Um, we need to take bones, we need to grind them up into bone dust, which we're going to do now. And then we'll go ahead and grab those. But we're not going to take too much, I don't think, but we are going to make some bone dust just because we can. Alright, go ahead and grab that. Oh, I hate when I miss. I hate, I hate it. There we go. I think that's all we really need for right now. Let's see what's down this way. Oh, did we check this? It's levitate. Oh, yeah. You know what we're going to do with that, right? Um, let's, see. let's see here. Oh. Oh, uh, you know that was a perfect one. Come on now. And then it was... 
Let's go ahead and grab that. Gonna get them really close to each other. And one. Then we're gonna hit four to extinguish it. So that way we can uh, save our mana. Boom! Dead! Okay. Okay, let's check these out one at a time. I just bring these over, I guess. Okay, there's this one. Oh yeah, um, another regeneration ring. This is a lower, a lower thing. So we'll take that. Let's bring these out real quick. Add that one. We only need, at most, 10 of these. There we go. I'm gonna, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm good with it. <laughs> All right, there's that. Making sure there's no extra areas over here. I think we're, I think we're good for that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head up and continue exploring. So I guess we can go ahead and put the poison on the blade. I just don't know how long that's going to last. And also we can go ahead and um, memorize that spell. We just need to remember not to use it until we get back over to Guru's area. Because we want to levitate over to that area that... Um, that cliff. Can't break it just like that. Another one of these walls. So we need another... Well, we need a pickaxe. That's what, what's going on. Okay... Here. Open the gate and let me pass. None human allowed. I'm no ordinary human. I'm a gem dealer. Open the gate. Trolls on strike. No gem trade today. You not coming in. Now come, open up. Mm, no. <laughs> Stubborn little brat. All right. Um. See, okay, there's a troll over here. I wonder if this is, Bo what was it, Buwaka? Baraka? Buwaka? Something like that? You not pass. You not friend. Oh, uh, turn you to rat food. Trolls and their, their needing of friends. <laughs> no friend. No come in. But I, I want to be your friend, um, please. All right, we have this water down here. You know me, I like to check the water. So let's go ahead and check Dang that out. Dang goblins. <laughs> All right, so we have the water here. Some lilies, it looks like. A lot of frogs. What's this about? Uh, this leads up to another area. We'll check that in a little bit. I definitely want to go ahead and check the levitation situation. All right, to spare you the noise of the of the water, I'm gonna go ahead and just speed ahead. All right, so we have another stone. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then we have a gemstone. What is this? Is this just broken stuff? Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to mine that as well. All right, I will meet you once we get out of the water again. Alright, so we're out of the water. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go talk to Gru. Uh, actually, we don't need to talk to him so much. We just need to go ahead and um, levitate across to that other area and see what's going on there. So I I guess I'll um, 
I'll meet you whenever I get over there. Uh, towards Gru. Let's go ahead and grab that. See there? All right, so he has uh, the book. Book is safe. Here we go. All right, so he, he'll just let me go through by clicking on him. Okay, I think this is the way we need to go. We're gonna go ahead and learn the spell. So what we need to do is we have to get to a high point. Hello, rat. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, let's see right here, maybe. All right, number one. Now, don't worry. This spell lasts a long time. Actually, it lasts too long. I, I don't know if it even turns off unless you just press uh, four. Four is automatically the stop spells. So we're gonna press four now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, grab that. I hear you, little, little guy. Come on. It's like I want to be your friend, but I gotta, I gotta take a nibble. I just gotta take a little bite. Um, let's go ahead and have that. You know, I don't think I need 20 bottles on me. I, I think we're, we're gonna be fine with that. So that gives us some more space. We'll put this ring over here. That's our regeneration if we need that extra healing. And then we have um, an unidentified ring, which I'm guessing is gonna be mana because it's a blue stone. Let's go ahead and head over here. Oh wow, this is big. Hey rat. Come on rat. All right, oh, there's something over there. We'll, we'll check that in a minute. More stuff to carry. <laughs> At least those uh, ropes stack. I wonder how many they stack to. All right, well, uh, magic missiles, we'll add that. Oh, we got some white uh, flowers. These are uh, for invisibility, if I remember correctly. And we have an enchanted sword. It's called the Caprian Longsword. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll take that. I'm sure that a uh, enchanted sword is going to be worth more money if we can ever find a merchant. Alright, let's see here. Can we make that? Uh, let me go ahead and hit F5. It's auto saving. And here we go. And I didn't even press the button. Oh, that's gruesome. You gotta jump for it to work. Let's see, I'm gonna just look right at it. Oh, that hurt. That's, that's not good. All right.
Holy crap. <laughs> I made it. Finally. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and save again. F5. And I don't think there is a way. Okay, so we have that now. If I jump from here to over there, I should be able to hit that. But let's go ahead and look around this corner here. See if it just... What? I'm going to need a pick for that. That's got to be an important thing, right? Oh, some more of these little flowers. Okay, another leather chest. That's a 3 AC, 60 durability. <laughs> um, this game hates me, I think. Flying Eye? We'll definitely take that. I hate to leave that there, but we'll come back if we, if we can. Another armor. The heck? Create field? Okay. Or about. Uh, okay. So we can't make it over to that little room there. What about this thing? This looks like. Okay, it's lighting up. Can I... Let's magic missile it. <gasps> yes! What? Okay, that's now a thing. Make sure I have a good hit on it. Alright. That is too far away for me to be able to hit that. I can now, though, I can come over here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've had about over, about over jumped it. Now we need to figure out this one, and I think what I'm going to do is do the same thing as I did last time. I'm just going to just keep working on this. I'm going to save right here, and then we're going to just figure this one out, I guess. Or you can do it that way. <laughs> Alright, so I'm seeing some great things here. A full set of equipment. But I am also seeing this right here. This is, uh, if we go ahead and open up our bag. And we we'll press F on that. That adds a whole second backpack to our inventory. So we can now pick up all of this. Including the axe. Some scrolls here. We'll have to check those out. What is the requirements for the axe? Uh, eight strength, it's five damage. This is four damage. We're gonna go ahead and put this in. There we go. And this is a short sword. Okay, so we got levitate it looks like. Let's go ahead and close this. Oh yeah, look at that! We got an axe now. Alright, so I think we are going to end up using that levitate to go that way maybe? Because there's no way we can make it up there. So let's go ahead and go in. Have to add that. 
Number two. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere. We've already been in there. That's where the ice cube is. All right, and I just want to get a, a spell prep just in case we run into anything. Um, it's not the spell. Come on. Come on! And then the last one is this. There we go. Oh, hello. You're a bigger spider than normal. What are you called? A giant spider poisoned 20. Okay. Oh, jeez. That didn't die. Didn't die. Come back through. Okay. Number four. Woo! That was, um, that was scary. Okay. Don't we have that rune? Yeah. The one that I have problems with all the time. Okay, I don't know why it would... Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. And just add it to our things. Holy cow, we got, oh wow, 10% AC, 10 magic resistance, and uh, 10 poison resistance, 10%, not 10. Protection from fire, and, oh, come on, grab the mana potion. There we go. Another levitate, mana, and that. Alright, so we need to break that down. I thought I broke it down before, but either way. Um, that was a perfect one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save here. There we go. And jump over. Jump over. Oh, okay, we're good. We're solid. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> we lived. And that is these caves. All we need to do is get a pickaxe, get the actual spell levitate, but we have an extra one just in case. Actually, we don't even need the spell. We're good to go with that. So, uh, how, are these extras? Let's go ahead and get these out of our inventory. There we go. And we need to go ahead and come up this way. There. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and end it here. Next time we're going to go up into that area behind where the troll was and see if um, that leads to anything special. So I think we're going to stop here. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.